Hello internet world, welcome, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Knowledge channel. In today's video, I have got a product here that I've been waiting for a long, long time for something like this. This is a really useful USB sharing switch. It's very, very useful indeed. Uh, this is a product from A10. They very kindly sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the content or to uh, for me to say anything in particular, nor has any money exchange hands for this video. I'm going to share with you my experience with this and just how useful it is. So let's jump straight into it and take a closer look at the product. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, this is a two-port USB-C Gen 2 sharing switch with power pass-through. So it's a really useful device. So instead of it being just like a, a USB hub, uh, it's actually something that allows you to share USB peripherals between two computers. Uh, so you could share it between two laptops or a laptop and a desktop for example. If I just turn this over you can see the little diagrams just uh, giving you some idea of how you could use this. Uh, so you could plug in two computers but share devices that are plugged in to the uh, ports at the back. Uh, I've been wanting like a, a USB-C hub but this is almost, almost as useful as, as what I've been waiting for, but it's got its own use case scenarios as well. So let's remove the box and have a closer look at the product itself. See if I can turn the camera lens the right way for once. Uh, we've got all of the ports. Let's go through all of the port selections. Let's start on the back. First of all, I should mention, very nicely made, really good quality. Uh, metal casing, little rubberized feet on the bottom, and then it's just sort of plastic on the two ends. Uh, but really robust uh, sort of uh, build quality on this. And super useful. Very, very useful indeed. In fact, I'm going to start around this side because this is where you're going to plug in all of your peripherals. Uh, so these are USB-C uh, Gen 2 and USB 3.2 Gen 2. So all super speed ports. Very, very fast uh, data transfer supported. These are the normal USB-A type connectors, so the squarer type connector, and then this is USB-C, the one that you can plug in either way round. So a nice uh, sort of back panel for plugging in all your peripherals. And you could plug in, for example, a printer, a hard drive, um, a USB-C hard drive, and uh, maybe a scanner or something, you know, different peripherals into these ports in the back. And then if we go around the front, uh, instead of only being able to plug in one computer, one host computer, you can plug in two host computers. Uh, so really useful. So you could have two laptops on here, laptop and a desktop. Uh, this one here, port number one, if you're using an appropriate uh, power delivery USB-C uh, power supply, then this one will give power delivery. So this will charge the laptop at the same time as it being plugged in. This one is just a data connection only. It doesn't do any charging. Uh, this is where you're going to put in the, uh, the, the power supply. Uh, so you're going to plug this into USB. And then we've also got remote for remotely switching uh, the connections. Very, very useful product. Uh, something that I've really wanted to try out and it's worked exceptionally well for me. I've had two MacBook Pros plugged into here uh, and being able to share the devices between those two computers without having to unplug uh, everything is really very, very useful indeed. Super useful product from 18. There's also a couple of LED lights on the top uh, top edge of the uh, unit here. And of course, all of the ports are marked on here as well. So they've marked them all up so you know exactly uh, what ports are situated where. Nice design, uh, nice build quality, and it just works exceptionally well with that ultra high speed uh, data transfer rate supported by the latest USB ports. So a very useful device, extremely useful, uh, and I can certainly recommend it. If you've got a couple of computers and you want to share devices between them, this is absolutely superb and I highly recommend it. So that is it for the review. Thank you very much for watching. I do just want to remind you this is a live broadcast. So a big hello to Gadget Dad. Good morning, Dave. Good morning to you. Uh, I bet I've upset the first one of these. Yep, you were first in the live chat. Thanks for getting in early. Uh, this is, of course, live, uh, as are most of my videos. So if you want to join live, please do subscribe 
and hit the notification bell and follow me on Twitter at Geekanoids on Twitter because that way you get to know when I'm going to do the live broadcast. It gives you a chance to talk to me while I'm doing the video and also to ask any questions. Uh, if you're watching afterwards, please do use the regular comment section below. And if you want to pick up this product for yourself, there are links to the manufacturer's website in the video description and also purchasing links for this product. Uh, and one last thing, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. I've got another video coming up for you next, so do tune in for that as well. Uh, something I haven't covered on the channel for a long time, one of my sort of personal passions coming up. And I'm also considering doing today, sort of bringing it forward a couple of days, considering doing my overhead uh, camera rig setup video as well, because I know a lot of you have been asking for that. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.